Hi and welcome back. In today's tutorial, we will learn how to implement those notifications inside of our application. And generally, you will learn how to implement providers such as Tenstack Query inside of your Next.js application. Go with Sloba. So in case of our to-do list application, I want to add those notifications when we create a new task or when we fail creating a new task. So let's say that we want to add a new task, clean house. And until now, we you know, we were getting this message where we have this success. It is just a paragraph. It shifts our layout and it looks terrible. So let's add a toast notification instead of this paragraph, something that is much, much, much more nicer. So first of all, we need to install a package and the name of this package is, so let's run the following command, npm, npm install react-hot-toast like this and hit enter. Now we have installed our package and we can close down the terminal. So let's open the file or actually let's create a new file. So the name of the file is completely up to you, but I'm going to create this file inside of this app folder and it is going to be named as providers.js, providers.js, because this is the same approach that you can use to implement other providers such as Tenstack Query, as we mentioned. This is going to be a client component, so make sure to use the use client declaration on top here. Now let's use the shortcut to create a functional component and let's leave it as providers here. Instead of using div, I can just create react fragments and inside of this fragment, we want to call our toaster. Now this providers component, it is going to serve as a wrapper to our content, to our entire application essentially. So what we need is we need a children. So basically rest of our application children and then we just after our toaster which is important here we just want to import and render our children if you're using test a query you would provide a store here providers and then you would just render our children so whatever library you're using maybe material ui you would add your providers around your content here and then you can include this inside of your layout folder so let's do that let's open up the explorer and let's open up the layout here let's close the explorer and now inside of our main tag here, where we have these children, we just want to add another wrapper. So let's import the providers, the one that we just created. So providers, and let's just wrap our children like this. And now we have our toast library available inside of our application and we can go and use it. So let's save this providers file now. Let's go and open up our actions file where I want to add some additional statuses, which we can use to implement our toast notification. So inside of our actions and inside of our create task action, I just want to add some statuses to our error messages. Using these statuses, we can determine what is the actual outcome of an action. So let's say here in the error message, we want to add a status of 400, which means that actually, which means that this action has failed. And now let's say for the success, we can add new property once again status and we can say here 200 so this request has been successful let's save this and we can now use this inside of our to-do form so once again let's open up the explorer inside of the components we need to do form let's close the explorer and now inside of our to do form function next to our use form state hook i want to add use effect hook so let's call the use effect hook and this hook is going to be checking or actually the dependencies array is going to have the state so depending on the state, we're gonna call a different notification function. And now let's create a function. And instead of this function, we just wanna check what is the actual status of our state. So we have just added the statuses and we wanna check if the state dot status is equal to 400. And we know if the status is 400, this is the error. So we wanna call toast and make sure to import the toast error. We wanna show the error and we can just pass in what is the actual state message. So state dot message like this. Else we can just check if we have the message at all. So else if state dot message, this should make the message being successful and we can just call the toast dot success and we can just pass in a message like task created. So we can hard code this or we can actually send a message from the action. And now let's save our file and let's see what we have in our application. So let's refresh the application and let's add clean my car and let's click on the create task. So we should get a successful message task created and this looks much more beautiful but the other thing is that we haven't actually removed this paragraph so we still get that layout chip so let's go and remove this part so let's go and remove this paragraph that we have inside of our to-do form so let's remove actually this is not even a paragraph this is just a message so let's remove it and let's save this file and once again let's go and this time let's try to uh, add an arrow so let's just type two letters 
and let's click on create task and we should get an error in this case. So as you can see, Swing must contain at least five characters. And this is how easily you can integrate those notifications inside of your application. And as I discussed, you can implement this way other providers such as Tenstack Query and MUI maybe. And this is all for this tutorial. In the following tutorials, we'll work on the lead feature. See you in the next one. And if you want to support my channel and get a full source code of every single video that I'm doing, feel free to check out patreon.com code with Sloba to get full access. See you there. Code with Sloba. Thank you for watching the entire video. To see more videos like this, click here.